In addressing the problems that farmers face on cassava, we have two main viruses. We have a, a begomo virus that is caused by cassava begomo viruses, uh, which are transmitted by white flies. White flies are tiny insects that uh, feed under the leaves of cassava. We also have another virus that is called brown streak virus. Today we are looking at the DNA virus, which is the cassava begomo viruses. We've just shown uh, uh, the farmer the symptoms in the field and we were able to collect some samples that we are going to work on in the lab. Lakini sasa hivi kama mwaka wa 3 ndio umeanza kuingia ya magonjo. Unalima vizuri muogo, unapanda, ukishafikia kwenye kutoa matunda muogo unakuwa unaanza kama hivyo yanajikunja, wanajawa dudu weupe, inakauka, huenda inakauka kabisa kama mwaka jana mimi nimelima miogo imekauka yote. Ila ndio hivyo kama sisi wakulima wa chini Unakuwa unalima tu hujui tatizo lake nini kikauka basi unangoja mwakani mvua ikija unalima unapanda tena ndio hivyo hivyo atakaye pona ndio wao wanaweza kupanda heka nzima ukavuna nusu tu nusu yote yamekufa For many years uh, we have been using conventional methods uh, to characterize this virus to sequence it takes some months before you get back the sequence one sample would cost maybe $15. So if you have 100 samples, this is just one run. You almost multiply the, the, the cost. Viruses are evolving, and so we need tools that quickly catch up with the changes in the virus. We are here in Tanzania bringing nanopore technology to farmers. We had heard about this technology being used for Ebola, sequencing and tracking and evolution and Zika. And so we decided that we should bring this to farmers in East Africa, which means that they'll be able to intervene with the viruses and eventually have more food. It's empowerment of people. Having the technology in a country means that you don't have to rely on anybody else. You can just do it yourself. And that's, for me, I care a lot about equity in science. And I feel like there's so much talent here in Tanzania and Uganda. People shouldn't have to wait until it's perfected. They should be, the teams here should be a part of the solution. The most important thing for me was to not hand carry the material here, but actually have the material shipped directly to the team so that it's a sustainable solution. Because if I carry it, then I take it away, and that's not useful. This is amazing technology. We are able to do all the analysis within a short time, and we are able now to provide the feedback to the farmer. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> That's the first time the technology. Yeah. First time, Asha. Yeah. Asha, first time. <laughs> we did the lab work, we did the data analysis, and we're back at the farm all within 48 hours. And it is a massive, massive victory. Opante wangu mimi ni mefly sana. Kwa sababu nilikuwa nalimu wa siku zote, mafandikio madogo, hivyo hivyo. Lakini kwa opante wangu ni meshkulu, na ni meflyia. Na nikipata mwelekezo, naona na mimi pia nitaelekeza wezangu, tutafanya, tutafanya vizuri ili tuvune mavuno mazuri, tuendele na maisha yetu. We have five people that are now ready to deploy the technology to many crops, not just cassava. And now we're on our way to Uganda, to Kampala, to work with um, Titus Alachai's team. And we're going to train more trainers and get more people involved in doing nanopore sequencing so that they can also help their farmers. <laughs> <laughs>